Hello, Snickers, so sorry, it's Victor, we're back with Lifeline Whiteout. Where we last left off, I believe we were helping Adams trying to find his way to something that'll help him figure out what the hell is going on. And we found a cave and a person with no teeth. I believe I know where those teeth are. So, let's see how it goes. I think, since he has no teeth and a bloody mouth, I believe the teeth we found back in the cave are his. So, I don't think he can do anything to you besides gum you to death, unless he has a weapon. So, he might not be hostile. Might not. As long as he doesn't have a weapon, he'll just probably gum you to death. So I think he's alright. You're right. I'm just being paranoid. Again. I can see his face. He looks... disturbed. Or angry? I don't like this. I don't like this. He just threw some bloody pliers in front of me. He's grinning now. Toothless and bloody. But he's not making a sound. Maybe he can't talk? I'd be surprised if he could with those bloody gums. The pain must be excruciating. It's disgusting. I can't look away. Wait. He just pulled a plank out of his backpack. He's... writing something with a black marker. It says... The time of terror says dawns. Wait. He's flipping it over. No way! Now back off! Or I'll make you bleed more! He's running again. I don't like this at all. He wrote a lot. This is for your own good. They use your teeth to track you. Pull them out. Use the pliers. Is this actually happening? That's insane! He's insane! Please tell me he's insane! Listen, there's no way I'm mutilating myself. You hear me, Mr. Doomsayer? No way! Oh, great. He looks mad. He's writing fiercely. This storm is picking up again. I can barely read the letters in all this snow. Then you are one of them, and they must die. Shit! A knife! He's got a knife! I'm here. I'm okay. Look, I know you're curious, but I don't want to talk about it. Just... I need to think. My hands won't stop shaking. Alright. I'm back. Okay, I know you don't want to talk about this, and that's perfectly fine. But I'm trying to make sure you stay alive, so what the hell just happened? I just remember him lunging at me, and I grabbed his hand. It was like a reflex. I hit him right between the eyes with that large flashlight found in his cave. It cracked, but it made him drop his knife. Then I hit him again. I kept hitting. I'm not sure how long. I can't remember. Listen, I wasn't angry. I didn't get any rush doing that. I just couldn't stop. It was like I was doing something necessary. Like my survival was above any guilt, above my fear, above any emotions. I just kept hitting again and again until he was done. I watched him as he died and I, I felt nothing. What's wrong with me? I don't know anything about me. Am I some experimental soldier? Did they remove my emotions? I'm a murderer! No, you're not. That was just self-defense. I mean, he did pull a knife on you. I mean, just hitting him until he died was not really that necessary. Could you, you just knock him out? I mean, that would have worked, but... Let's do a self-defense! Sure, let's go with that. Yes, it was. But still, I should feel at least a shred of remorse after killing another person. Right? Don't you think? Grieving can wait until you're safe and alive. Well, you're still alive, but just be more safe than what you are now. Then you can grieve. Still, there's one thing that I needed to know. Please, would you be honest with me? You know me as well, or as little as I do. Tell me, am I a monster? Be honest. Maybe. I'm not sure. I just knew met you this previous series, so... I- not previous series. I met you this first episode of this series, so I don't really know that much about you. So I'm- I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. So, what should I do with his body? Make sure he's dead first, so that way he won't be like, ah, I got a knife. Just give me a sec. Let me get those pliers. Not for my teeth, of course. Having a tool like that is invaluable. I'll clean them off in the snow. Now, let's see if he has a pulse. 
He's gone. What? His... His name tag? It's the same as mine! Well, almost the same. His is, says, I, Adams. What is this? Some kind of cruel joke? It's gotta be coincidence that our last names are the same, right? Uh, it's gotta be, but I, I can't prove that. I don't think anyone here can. I mean, he could, but he's dead. But that's not important right now. He's dead. And Blue and I will be too, if we don't get going. The storm is getting worse, again. I just hope that we got enough time to reach our destination. Talk to you then. Blue and Adams, out. Hey, can you hear me over this wind? I got bad news. There's a huge storm cloud headed our way. If my calculations are correct, it's going to hit in a few minutes. The wind is so strong now that I can barely keep myself from falling down. The snow has turned to sleet. I'm not sure what I should do. If the snow has turned to sleet, you'll just keep slipping and falling, which will slow you down and cost time. So it'd probably be best just to find shelter. I'm too far from the mountains. Not that I can see them. This lead is making it impossible to see what's just ahead. No. Here it comes. Brace yourself, Blue! Blue? Where are you? I can't find Blue! The storm. It's horrifying. But it's majestic. Breathtaking. The water's completely white. It's so cold that it burns like fire. I'm in hell. But its boots are spewing sleet. I don't think I'm going to survive this. Don't you dare stop. Keep moving. If you try to stay in the storm, it's going to kill you. So it'd probably be better just to keep moving to try to find something than standing there like a fucking idiot and freezing to death. Are you sure? I mean, I can't see a thing. But I guess I'll freeze unless I keep moving. It's unnerving, being blind like this. What's this? The terrain suddenly became a bit steeper and slippery. No! I'm on the edge of a crevice. I gotta turn back. I need to find a safe footing to- Ah! Oh! Signal interrupted. Attempting to reconnect. Connection lost. Damn it! I forgot about the blindness. It wasn't- It didn't click in my head that he's blind. He can't see where he's going. Fuck! <sighs> Fuck, I gotta rewind all the way to the morning! Fuck! Okay, since right now, nothing's happening. And it took me forever to get back to here. I guess right now, just keep moving. And if I have to come back to here, the people who made this game, you seriously need to fix the death system. Make it so I can just go back to a different choice and then reset from there instead of going back to many choices ago. Because on the previous games of like the Lifeline series, you were able to choose which choice you would go to if you died. So, I think you need to fix this ga death choices game, people, whoever made this game. So anyway, I guess, just wait for the storm to pass, I guess. So, alright, my little rant's over, if I made sense. So, yeah, there's that. I guess you're right. This can't last forever. I'll do my best to keep warm. Seems to be getting worse by the minute. If you ask me, what I'm facing right now might easily turn out to be the apocalypse itself. I can't hear anything over the thundering winds. It's been nice knowing you. Wait. I see something. It's Blue! He came back for me! Uh, follow Blue. Trust his instincts. If he came back to you through the storm, he must know something's up. So go to him. Go to him, young one. Be free. You're right. I doubt the storm is letting up anytime soon. Come on, Blue. Lead on. We did it. Or rather, Blue did it. He saved my life again. And guess what? He brought me almost straight to the relay station. I can see the blinking lights on top of the antenna. I know someone is getting a double heaping of studentite. I'm not sure what's better. Learning the truth about myself? Or the prospect of sleeping inside somewhere warm? But one way or another, I gotta get inside that station first. Wait. What's that? Someone's lying in the snow. He's wearing the same jumpsuit as me. He looks hurt. Hey! He's dead. I couldn't do anything. There's a lot of frozen blood. He was shot and left there. Just lying in the snow. Yeah, except his body. He could have something useful. 
Let me just turn him so I can at least see his face. Damn. He's heavier than he looks. His face. But that's impossible. He's... The Doomsdayer. How is that possible? It's not possible. I say the same, but I'm sure. I'd remember that face anywhere. There's only one way to make sure it's him. I'll check his teeth. Ugh. That was absolutely disgusting. But his teeth are all there. Nothing's missing. So he's not the Doomsayer. But then, who is he? Hold on. He's got a name tag. No. No way. He's an Adams too. But he's not I Adams like the Doomsayer was. This one is I I Adams instead. Is everybody in this godforsaken wasteland named Adams? Wait. I, 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 and V? Are they Roman numerals? I'm just guessing, but it's definitely a pattern. And there's only one way to find the truth. I gotta get inside this relay station. But of course, it's locked. If I remember right, these documents from the cave mentioned the security doors here. They're pressurized. Hmm. There should be a panel here. I can use my pliers. There. Now there should be a little knob. In the lower part the lock cylinders. Once I turn it, I should depressurize them and open them. Bingo! I'm in! Let's go in bl Whoa! The door slammed behind me. Damn! Blue stuck outside. There's gotta be a way to let him in. But I can't see. It's pitch dark. There must be light in here. It almost smells... weird, too. Turn on the lights, I guess? I'll feel my way around. I don't want to break a leg or something worse. I almost tripped, but there's something on the floor. Feels like a bunch of sacks. My imagination is going wild. I hate this darkness. Ouch! I cut my hand. I think I found the door. But the glass is shattered. Luckily, the cut isn't deep. The light switch comes to somewhere next to this doorway. I knew it! Here it is. Let there be light! That's much be- Oh my, Arceus. I- I think I found the source of that smell. It's blood. Death. The early stages of the decomposition. The floor is just covered with bodies. And the walls are practically painted with blood. My hands are dripping with it. I can't. I gotta get out of this slaughterhouse. Focus, Adams. No need to panic. No need to worry. Everything's fine. There's nothing to harm you right now. Now. So I think you're good. Right. Right. I'm gone. I'm gone. <sighs> Sorry. I'm just cut off guard. Pick your surroundings. Make sure nothing is here that could potentially harm you. Alright. Let's see. What do we have here? The room I fell into was some kind of lobby. And guess what? There's a fire escape map for the entire facility hanging on the wall. There's blood spattered on it. But it's still legible. There are two rooms next to this one. A bedroom outfitted with a small kitchen and a computer room, separated by an electric lock, and there's a bathroom too. Yes! After what I've been through, I need a hot shower. Which one should I check first? I mean, if the bathroom has good plumbing, and if it does work, you do need something warm now to keep it to make sure you're alive and your body temperature is in good regulation, if that all makes sense. So the bathroom's here. First, no one here, but there's a bathtub, a toilet, and a sink at my disposal. Hey, there's a mirror too. It never crossed my mind, but I don't remember what I looked like. I wonder, how do I look? Oh my Arceus. No, it, impossible. It's not real. There's something wrong with this mirror. Tell me there's something wrong with this mirror. Tell me, please. What do you see, Adams? My face. It's not my face. It's... It's the same face that the Doomsayers faced. It's... Also the face of the dead guy I found outside the station. Am I hallucinating? Is my goat ridden conscious playing tricks on me? No. What's happening to me? I... I have to wake up from this nightmare. I just gotta close my eyes. Splash my face with cold water. It's not real. It's just my mind. Oh. His eyes are still gazing at me from the mirror. It's my mouth moving. Who am I? 
No. What am I? Am I an experiment? Am I a clone? I knew something was wrong with me right from the beginning. But I could have put my finger on it. But wait. What if I'm not even human? What if I am something far worse? Some sort of scientific abomination? I... I had to find out soon. We're all called nuts. Who did this to me? Why? Is someone going to kill me too? Don't panic. No need to panic. Just breathe. Please. Trying to act your panicking is making me slow of breath and making me dizzy. Please, just calm down. You don't understand. All these atoms is... They're all me. Or maybe I'm one of them. I... I don't know what to think. Something's really wrong with me. Maybe... Maybe it's not amnesia. Maybe there's nothing to remember. Maybe I have no past. There's something to look forward to. Nothing to hope for. I don't know what to believe anymore. I'm afraid of what we might find. What if... I'm just some clone? We need to know information to know for sure, Adams. Please calm the hell down. Yeah, you're right. But still, I'm scared. Confused. That mainframe could be on the way out of this nightmare. I've got to get inside that room. The computer room is electronically locked, so I bet they didn't make these doors easily breakable. So I won't be trying to bash down that door. There's only just one option. I need a keycard. Have you searched the bodies? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. These people were all working here. One of them must have an access card. I hate rummaging through corpses. After all I've seen, it makes me feel weird. Like I had something to do with their deaths. I know it's stupid. I, it's not that I feel guilt. It's more like doubt. But I've got to find the truth before I can be sure of anything. But hey, I found a keycard. So it's worth it. Now I can finally let Blue in. Come on in, lad. There you go. Uh, did any of them look like you? I'm curious. Thank Arceus now. I was worried I'd find another Adams or two. There were four bodies. Two male, two female. One had a keycard in his pocket. That's it. Well, I guess that's it. Time to go in and face my destiny. The access card worked like a charm. I even got a welcome message on the display. Welcome, Dr. Rossin Kretsu. Now, let's see what we have here. There's a desk with a laptop and what looks like a central mainframe computer. Which one do you think I should try first? I think we should try them out in the next episode. I have to end it up here. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll catch you on the next one. Hasta the baby.